immediate post-mortem changes occurs within few minutes to hours. Number one is going to be loss of voluntary movements. Second, cessation of circulation and cessation of respiration. Early changes. Remember, there is a difference between immediate change and early change. In immediate change, we talked about loss of voluntary movements, cessation of circulation and cessation of respiration. In early changes, we are going to see the eye change and mortis. We are going to see rigor mortis, algor mortis and liver mortis. This occurs within few minutes to hours. Early changes in the eye, in retina, we are going to see Kevorkian sign or the railway track sign. Here, we can classically see the railway track sign. This occurs in 10 minutes after death due to the fragmentation of retinal vessels. The late change occurs due to autolysis or putrefaction. This occurs in days to month. Cornea. The transparent cornea become hazy in one hour after death and becomes opaque in six hours of after death. Here we can see the hazy cornea. Sclera. There is a saying called as the rest is rust and we are the stardust. Remember, in front of universe, we are all dust. In sclera, we will see dust deposition or desiccation. This occurs in three to six hours after death and it is called as Take Noir Sclerotica. In French, Noir means black color. The best medium to detect time since death is going to be our vitreous humor. We are going to see the vitreous potassium and that is the most reliable one to check the time since death. Algar mortis is going to talk about post-mortem cooling of the body. Common site is rectum except sexual abuse. Ideal site is going to be subapatic space. It starts in 15 minutes after death. Rate of fall is going to be from 0.4 degree to 0.7 degree per hour. And the shape is going to be sigmoid curve. Postmortem calorosity, the body remains warm after death. In, that is due to increased muscle convulsions by tetanus or nux vomica poison. In CNS lesion, that could be due to heat stroke or pontine hemorrhage. Bacterial activity can cause septicemia. Next, in liver mortis, the body could be normal color by having bluish. Cherry red is due to carbon monoxide poisoning. Cyanide poisoning causes brick red in color and phosphorus potassium anilate causes brown color and the greenish color is due to hydrogen sulfate. Now, liver mortis can occur within 30 minutes of time we will see small patch multiple patches can be seen within two hours of time and this was a quick revision of our post-mortem changes thanks a lot